a few maps, including Miramo, which we have straight from Impala down to Valdemar. Will the teams will drop to the initiate drop spot or will players start to pick a fight against the other? We haven't seen Mirama as aggressive as Arango, but will it be a different game this time? Team Secret Gin seems to be unstoppable with their momentum and they are showing no signs of slowing down at all. Yeah, they don't show any signs of slowing down at all. And they did change that drop shot, so it looks like it's going to be Impala again. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the last game of Mirama that we'll be seeing in this season. So this is make or break for those who really love Mirama in this game. And of course, it's a fast drop down here from Secret Team. They already got their weapons in their hands. And for the other teams, well, all the best for this round, ladies and gentlemen. Now the <gasps> circle. Oh! We have seen this again and again. This is deja vu, Chichu. Will it be a Chuma Zero Circle or will it be for the first time ever Voldemort? I do want to see a Voldemort Circle. We never experienced that before. But here gonna be the spotlight on Team Secret Gin. The team on the first day is stay low as possible. Back then, they were nobody, but now seems like they are the top contenders. Probably might just take away the crown by Arrow of before. Within two days, within so many games, they managed to making a turning of tide. For the side of box, gaming is not a great run for them. A couple of times this sandwich between two teams. So many teams got caught in a pit of traps here. I'm talking about them. Have to be very careful when it comes to Maroma. Terrain itself is already very tricky to play with. But make sure they have the right uh, judgment of call towards the direction of their transition when it comes to getting into the circle. And you know what? It's kind of late for me to notice that. But the leaderboard on the right side of the screen, it's question mark. And actually, the question mark is for the top four. I only re recognized that after we were shown that actual leaderboard earlier. So, yeah. No clue who's the top four. I mean, we kind of can guess who's the top four by now. But we have no clue who is on the top spot. But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget as well to cast your votes for the eSports Mobile Player of the Year. Support the Southeast Asia player. How do you do that? Log on to esportsaward.com slash provote to cast your votes. And of course, don't forget about the peak viewer milestone. Let's hit 400,000, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it together. As a Southeast Asia community, we can get those free items. Come on, people. Yep, it's all down to you guys to see the fate of all the South Asia players. But for the side of uh, drop spot, I do notice RIK is not dropping by El Pozo. They are might be contending around box gaming vicinity, which is going to be tricky. No first contacts, no clashing whatsoever right now. Team Secret just on the outskirts of Elazar as well as box gaming. RQ were actually going up to the north to camp or Militar, so they actually decided to rotate this later than everybody else. For ASTP, they are still in Los Higos. You do gank or you park themselves where they need to be because Minas Diavel will be a hot spot later if the circle favors Chumacero. It's one of the top heels in Chumacera, just on the outskirts of Minas Devil. But we're going to have to wait and see some time to circle. Just love to troll the players. Iconic on Montenuevo have no contenders whatsoever. But the middle packet, we're talking about Picardo and Graveyard. Even La Bendita seems to be a very messy place later. Because we've seen and we've witnessed yesterday, La Bendita is where everybody just being break, broken down. From so many teams, only half will survive. Mm, talking about trolling. Come on, Minus Delta Circle. You can do it. I still haven't seen a Minus Delta Circle before. So it does go down there. Uh -huh. I'll be a very happy man. And I know someone else will be happy as well. Amir Uday, shout out to you all the way from Brunei watching this. And he loves an evil circle too. So come on, you have at least two evil circle supporters. Oh, there's a lot of evil circle supporters down there, I'm sure. And it's going to be challenging for this players to adapt to the circle. It's all down to the circle. It doesn't matter how the fight path will be. But it will also impact it how the players rotate into the circle. So the circle this time we favor to the southern side. A lot of southern circle today here, Cloud, including Irangle itself. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of southern circle. In, in fact, I think if I recall correctly, for Mirama... Except mm -hmm. for one Impala circle. Other than that, all the circles have been it's still around in the, the southern side area. of the map. 
Yeah, it's always the southern side of the map for some reason. Except but for the Paul east side. Of the map, something else. Yeah, well, imagine if it's on the isolated island of uh, outskirts of Nepal, it'd be great too. But mm. RQ having four men all in one vehicle, we don't like this going on for some time, but they will be very undisturbed where they landed before. Camp of Militar is very vacant, so they are more than sure that there will be no other players surrounding them base if they actually uh, watch base on the previous games. Arrow Wolf, on the other hand, even Team Circuit Gen um, members actually mentioned this in their interview just now. Arrowwolf, the tricky thing about them is they always have one survivor till the last few circle, and that actually brought them so many times into the game. I say because of that, they did got record number of kills during the mid phase, like the third or fourth phase where the great migration happens. But after that, they keep it quiet. Just have to make sure they got themselves in a great position for the last few circle. Got themselves at top three. But will it be enough for them to, with that kind of play to be the champions? Because the champions have $30,000 in the back. That's not a small amount of money. Mm, well, you know, of course, besides the moolah, it's also the glory of lifting up that trophy and waving your country flag on the Southeast Asia scene. So, it's definitely something that the teams want. But talking about that as well, Aero Wolf, yeah, they are a team that has like what? I still think that they still have the level 10 helmet and level 10 vest with them somehow. They seem to be very difficult to take down. Even if they went into the final three, a lot of times you see that it's almost as if they're invisible. It's like if there are three teams, the fight will happen oh, no. between the two teams most of the time. And no one would see them for some reason. I don't know what they've been using, but it's some some sort of magic. But hopefully oh, that magic no. can be cast on the Chua as well. Oh, uh, definitely Chua needs that magic because he just now flew himself with that minivan and the rest of Aero oh, parked himself. Chua start the fight first. Roses, we know how can can get away with the nades just now turning over the to tide towards their side for Aero. But it's only one person of VGM. No backup whatsoever coming up for Chua. And Chua oh, kind Chua. of struggling oh. straight to the ground. First contact has been made and it will be the first blood done by Steve first. The rest of VGN just arrived. Tom is too far apart. And Cashy giving off a lot of pressure on that side. Tom have to bow down now. They need to bail. This is way too late for them to coming in for the save. And they will not benefit it. I'm not sure where the fourth player of Aura is. But right now all four, all three of them are being, are being the front line. Roses trying to get from the flank side. Oh, roses are red, violets are blue. You snooze, you lose. And that's what happened to Chua. And here we go, look at Bensu. Bensu gets one knocked up for himself, but then the name does connect a little bit there. Bensu now down to 47. Bensu, oh my god, Bensu, with just that one last thing, he somehow managed to survive that. The gods just smile onto him. The first AK will be followed. Tom will get cover fire from the other side as well. Can Tom, with a toss on the nade, take down any of them? And there you go. Boom! But no. Not yet. It will continue to be pressured by Tom with the gunfire. Nowhere to run, Tom said. Or our roses and the rest of them cannot get out from there. But we have one more team just arrived. BW Super 8! Can't pie with a minute 14! And down the third party has arrived. They want to swipe the floor clean. Tom didn't see this one coming. He's burning. He tried to kill himself. What? Knock down again. And he will be on grounded all the way. PW Triple A. Evil has arrived and they want more. All right, the next victim, VGM, stand down, bailing at the moment. Twan Z, they will stand down. And you do get now fighting against YG. And now Yudu Gang against Yangon Galactico's Jumper now just at the hill. He seems to be at the forefront, but Jumper looks like he has been knocked down by AK. And now just, oh, and Jax, the Fleco went too far ahead. Did you just see that? And now looks like they recovered themselves. Now Fredo looks like he's super low and the smoke will be popped out to help Jumper come back up. And now Jax is starting to go for the flying here, trying to go from the right side. Fredo managed to pop out the first AK. Then one sec, looks like he'll relocate himself as well. He will defend on the other angle. Oh, one sec. Where are you going, oh. Tom? You're dropping that nade like it's hot. Man Parang on the ground. Knock down, Drax. Micro Uzi. There's another nade coming up from one sec. Oh, oh one sec. It's too late. Oh. Down one. He got two. Drax 
finish off and Tommy trying to wipe off the rest of you the game being obliterated by YG. Tommy the members left SMG third party again here. You do placing at 16. Chima Sarah is too over occupied. Three way war all over the map. Partying is the name of the game. As we can see, third partying is the thing. Killstair is the thing. And SMG managed to get at least one point for all that mess. And now they could actually rush here to Yamu Jack because looks like he can go for the flag here. But coming in from the other side. But again, Tamyo is going to put pressure with the M4. With a long range shot. But are you going to continue coming in for another angle? We'll need to wait and see. And now Jenny looks like he's just scouting it out onto the side of Yangu Galacticos. This is just insane place coming out after one third party coming in. There's another more trying to take the advantage of whatever they can. Every single kill is a dime for them. Putra trying to take a long shot there, but it's not going to help with the holoscope right now. But on the other Mini 14, tapping away YG. Now they will stand down for a bit as MG overpicked themselves. They cannot take this fight for too long because there are more teams coming in very soon on top of Chumacera. VGM stayed down for a bit. They will reassess, reset, and go again after some time. While well, Iconic Philippines just arrived, Bigatron will be the next contender. Fourth row scouting out for the team. Arrowwolf, on the other hand, on one particular compound, have a lot of structure to work with. It's going to be Box Gaming to be their charge later. But will Box Gaming rise to, it rise to the occasion or will they back down and avoid whatever casualty they need to avoid? They don't want to have too many disadvantages for them in the early phase of the game. Yeah, you don't want to bow out early. It is still 15 teams though, so if anyone bows out at this point, it's zero, zero placement points. And you do, I don't think they managed to secure any kills just now. And oh, check this out. Young Gun Gaktikos as well as SMG. Putra has been knocked down, but our focus on screen is of course for PWAAA versus Aura. Aura has to come out. PWAAA, they have interest on those kill points because they are one of the contenders for that top spot. If they can secure lots and lots of points at Copa now, we'll be leading the charge. He's one right now. The spray goes down with an M4, but it does not connect good enough. But then again, it's still okay. Little bit more last tick of health. And looks like Aura. Roses will be taken down by Ice from another angle. And now PWTripper 8 are forcing them to get out from this compound. They want to flush out. Coral Pie try to get the flanks. They have one scout, one watch, which is going to be ice on top of that hill. While Steve, that nade is really tough one to avoid. But no, they shut down this door even. They want to connect that nade to toss it over Aura. But Rosa is struggling to keep alive. Steve on the other end will force to take a fight first. They want to rush. All three members coming in. And now Rosa's will bleed out. Kopai trying to take down on the first floor. They will march on the second floor here. The stats is getting in the way. Steve having such a hindrance to get out from here. No exit out. No exit oh, point. No. Steve wiped out. And it's going to be Aura placing themselves 15. Two teams out in the first few minutes of the game. Oh, Steve, Steve, no way he's going to get out of that being the last man standing. And now we shift our focus onto SMG. But let's check this out. The circle, it's Deja Vu Choo Choo. Again and again, we have seen this kind of circle. A Chumacera circle. And now players, they know how to take their priority. They go to the high ground, secure those spots because we have seen success through those areas. Emro Wolf, again, oh, coming no. super late and super safe. But wait, I saw VGM trying to run away, avoid the fight against ASTP, but they are just literally walked themselves into another trap door, another death wish in front of our queue for ASTP. They're camping this one out. Seems to be like the gatekeepers for now on the higher ground. Ladrilla will be occupied by Team Secret. They're taking a safe route coming up from behind, apparently, and they will not be contested, but they're not in the circle just yet. Getting in the circle is the trickiest part because there's so many high-level terrains there. And the mountains will have a lot of gatekeepers on top. Team Secret Jin still going against SMG now. A bit sparse oh. for SMG mates, but Iconic Philippines approaching as well. Oh man, it's going to be a sandwich situation here. I hope this sandwich is a sandwich that Uncle Lodger likes. Hiya! Uncle Lodger really likes sandwich, but you don't wash your sandwich. Ah. 
Hi ya. Maybe instead of Sir Cloud, you should change to Uncle Cloud after this. Who knows? I know, right? Yeah, some people do call me uncle, you know, for some reason. And even that was like, what, 17 years ago and people start calling me uncle already? I know, right? I'm old beyond Feels my bad. age. Man. Oh, come on. You're still dashing. What do you mean you're uncle? Wow. Well, ultimately, it's still about the game. <laughs> it's going to be still two months here. Venus Deval will occupy, also be taken, capitalized by Arrow Wolf, which one of the most ingenious team when picking their spots. Nobody dare to contest them yet, but they can third party all the teams. It seems to be Team Secret Jin and SMG will be third party by Aero Wolf or even Savior coming up from behind. Those actually come out from the northern side. Good luck, have fun because it's a tricky, tricky valley in between while YG, YG seems to be sharing a bit of compound with another team. It's going to be team number three, Bigatron. Zoxy. <laughs> Just on the left side, they didn't see AK. Oh my they goodness. AK is going to face off against Zuxi as well as Ryzen in the same building. AK now holding the AK himself. And now the jump shot comes in and AK with the play. <laughs> the oh! But two from Megatron Red Ellis is just too much. Oh my goodness. Ryzen just said the nick of hell. How did he actually survive that? It's insane from Ryzen. That was incredibly painful to watch for AK by YG because he might have clutched that one bullet whiffed out literally just scratched the cheeks of Vigatron if not he already got himself that clutch on iconic blanks here forced to take the fight but he will run himself into the corners taking a defensive position first team secret we always know they want to rush first and YG they're not done here just yet but gaming team secret starting to fight against iconic few while team secret is struggling. We're looking at Box Gaming. Denied the hike by YG. Tommy, you're tossing out the name. Hoping it will be a Kobe. Now wait in. In the smoke. Chopper seems to be a perfect target. Oh, not yet. The explosion chip. A lot of F1. But Chopper still survived. And here we go. We're moving back to Team Secret. Looks like they've been seized down here. Iconic. Blacks have been taken down by Rex. And now you are taking out Blacks. And there you go. Iconic PH. They lost this compound to Team Secret. But this compound will not be valuable because it is outside the safe zone. They need to move in now. They need to fight against Team number 50 right now. The Iconic PH. The last two team members. We have Eto Eto there. That's why it's 4th row. Are you going to get the reflection? But oh! Look at this. Third party coming in. And Rex will finish off by Neto then. They didn't take party actually. They are trying to go for the sweet revenge. Iconic. They lost their members in that compound. Team Secret trying to do a one step at, at a time. But Iconic already got themselves 10 steps after. A bit too late for Team Secret. And Savior VGM plays themselves at 14. What happened to them? And Peter with Super 8 seems to be having a tough time to get themselves vision on the side of their compound. Team Secret here still fighting against Iconic. While well, SMG got himself the higher ground, Iconic for throw and Delton trying to take down Yu High. But Yu High released his monster here. This boy, this kid, even though he's very young, but he's a very fearful when it comes to getting the game into his hands. SMG, Team Secret J all have the higher ground. They have the advantage. They have the elevation that they need. On the side of Team Secret, they will be pressured by the blue. So they need to make a move, but where to? Seems like all angles covered with so many openings for you, Hai. Oh, it's left you, Hai, so it's Matoy, the father-son combo here. But they seem to be quite far apart and they are not in the same zone. It's about 30 more seconds on the clock before it closes in onto them. And we can see here now, they do have a buggy, but you, Hai, looks like you'll be taking out the blue as well as taking a couple of gunshots here from Yangon Galacticos. Jake Fam, on the other hand, will be out at 13th place. But Team Secret, they will try to get to the buggy, but then again, it will still be a very, very big risk with the buggy at open top, trying to get into the safe zone. Ooh, I really worry for Team Secret for now. And they're hunted by so many teams right now, including Lord spraying over with a Scar L, tossing the nades, making it hard for them to even move. Not many space to play with Mato Troy. We jump into the buggy, but the buggy is really a risky move to be taken by Matoy. Iconic on the other side, YG on the other, SMG in front, Bigatron on next. Where will Yu Hai and Matoy go to? Because they have no way in at all. ASTP fighting against Iconic. This is the moment they're waiting for. They're being distracted for YG and 
those iconic for now. Matoy have a bit of a breather, reset, reassess themselves, but they need to push in. RRQ stuck in the pits here. Team Secret Jin got the higher ground advantage. They're trying to scope over whoever's trying to climb up and hike. YG surprisingly will be eliminated first because of the taking the fight against iconic Philippines. Oh, but look at this Juju Secret Jin. They have the high guard at this point. And now Mato managed to get the revenge onto Edo 10. We just saw the kill fade that 2k now. Prepare on the next nade. Going to toss out to RRQ. They are opponents from Thailand as well. Wait, land nice. <gasps> but, oh, ding. Looks like it's dong for him. Yu Hai will be the one to dong him out. Felonly fighting Team Secret. They are grinding themselves up there. SMG stuck in a pit. A roll 2k. Just making sure they will stay where they were. They cannot advance. They cannot go hike up. There's no way out for SMG. Came Secret Gen got themselves a paramount position. Prime ones to get where they are and now they're still touching the rim of a circle while RRQ will be scattered by 2k the rest of them are too busy against the other teams climbing up, climbing up different angles G9 trying to get himself on top of that hill but it's just so hard and Arrowwolf plays himself oh, at ninth place here oh. what just happened Arrowwolf is actually might just goes down the charts because Tim Secret Jin He's still on top of the hill and on top of that leaderboard. Vika Tron taking a fight from the backstab. Team Ooh. Secret fight back. Team Secret. Jen eliminated the rest of Secret Malaysia here. Well, they have whatever they can for revival. This is just really tough to watch. They are just farming kills left and right with Arrowwolf out. Oh my goodness. We could see the rise of Secret Gen to the first place on the overall chest. What has happened to Arrowwolf? Their consistency is now broken. The third day, they can't hang on to it so far in game number two. And now let's give our focus on the RRQ. Looks like it's now PW Triple A for getting into the top. But then again, D2A. Every lockdown. Third party coming in from 2K. Secret Gen. They are just farming kills left and right they have the perfect position to do that but that position will be worthless right now because the zone will close in onto them they will need to move as well yep they are being compromised the moment they try to fire upon all the teams around them RRQ have to cut across team secret Jin. they are forced to take the fight by Kenzo Bigatron on top of that hill they got that circle as well G9 zigzagging himself away to a spear trying to revive him but PW8 eyes firing upon Savior's side everybody is not on top of the hill we're having a huge gap a big hindrance which is gonna be Bigatron Top C trying to fight himself, zigzag away by Zoxy! This is just a perfect wide angle view for him. Taking so many fish is a fist of the moment for Bigatron. But SMG, he got the higher ground. They will take Bigatron from the backside. Oh, again, SMG versus Bigatron, Red Ellis. Two shots coming in for the other angle, and not the same time you can see that RRQ. Looks like they're gonna butt in and get the knockdown to Jenny. Jenny looks like he may be finished off by beer right here, right now. And there you go. We can see it's down to the top 40s. 11 more like G9 getting killed on the Putra. And now can SMG actually clinch it. Can they actually get out of this? But Bigatron, Red Ellis, they are still strong. They still have a four-man squad, including RRQ Athena. But Bigatron, Red Ellis, they have the high ground. Oh, look at Bigatron, they split into two pairs here. We're talking about they, they have enough firepower to fight against two teams at once. Remarkable plays by Bigatron, but RRQ marching up from the side flanks. Bia, Ernie, and G9 shutting down Luxy, who's covering such a wide angle, making sure to keep the pressure open here, while Microbot getting on the more further higher ground. We have Savior team only chide out left on Luxy's side, scouting him Ooh, over, he, making sure he cannot oh, watch no. a chunk finish off by Luxy. Now down to three teams only. Can Luxy get back to the teams, reunite with them, while well, oh, I keep bantling out one single person, which is going to be Luxy, but we still have tricks. Oh, SMG man. rising knocked down first. We are trying to march up here on the higher ground. Still not spot out the rest of Bigatron. Tricks on the other hand, trying to step back on the back side, but Trixinity will be focused by RQ. Luxy still staying low, staying quiet, playing the ninja now for Luxy. 
will it be Thailand, Indonesia or, or Malaysia? But oh, looks like SMG will be out at third place. Now we are down to the top two. Will it be Thailand or Indonesia? Bigger draw, Red Aliens or RRQ Athena actually going home with the chicken dinner in the drama today. G9 gets one knock down to Luxy. Michael Boy trying to go for the wrap around here. Michael Boy, together with his buddy, is trying to sneak in from behind. Beer, he is getting ready there, but Luxy has been finished off by G9. But at the same time, we can see that Zuxi looks like he's been knocked down. Michael Boy managed to knock down Beer. And now Ernie will need to get revenge for his buddy. That G9 can start trying to come in for an angle. Ernie has the high ground. The Nate will be tossed out there. Can they clip anybody? Not too sure about that, but they need to defend and they need to help their buddy up first. Oh wait, Micro Boy coming Ooh. up now! Ingenious play by Bigatron, relocate himself! Can he be yeah. Bigatron getting the chicken dinner? They got the advantage yeah. now! They should have finished up Micro Boy! They're gonna get Bia! Oh. Bia! Bia! Final finish off by Bigatron, Ray Allen's my god! What a terrifying team! Ingenious play! Big wraparound with a minivan just now by three of them! Sacrificing 